Hey everyone, it's Leanne. Welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a sketchbook tour. I finished the sketchbook just after Christmas, uh, December 31st, actually, because I was doing a December challenge that helped fill this up. Um, actually, it was a few days before, but we'll take a look. I'm going to show you all the uh, art that I've done. This is my watercolor journal, so let's get started. So this journal I started in July of 2021, this past summer. And this is the Strathmore Watercolor Journal. I've used a few of these and I really like them because they're inexpensive and they're 100% cotton. So if anything else I can recommend, if you're thinking of doing watercolor, get good paper because it makes a difference. So let's take a look at my journal. So I started um, here in July, of course, we had some bunnies in the yard. And so I drew one of the bunnies that we had uh, that came in that was just lounging in the yard, um, enjoying the sun. We had Theodore the tugboat come into our harbor in our um, town and so he was docked for a, do a few days and so my mom and I went and uh, went to see him and got pictures taken and stuff so that was that drawing. Uh, this is a challenge I did in August. So this was um, avian August and it was a bird drawn for every day in the month of August. So at this time I also uh, went out west. We flew out west to see my sister and her family so I was doing a bit of this out there and I thought I would do, I kind of segmented this into a, a grid pattern with a pencil like very lightly and then as I drew each bird uh, I just erased the grid and then I thought to put the just the clouds behind it so it kind of all felt like one big image and there was no gr base or ground or anything. Um, but this uh, was really fun to do and I found this challenge easy to do or easier because they were small drawings and so I had to keep everything very small. I found by the end I was making my birds pretty big and detailed and I think I was just getting confident too because I had done them every single day and it became easier as I went on. And so I was running out of space but I really love the way these turned out. It, they were so much fun to draw and I learned about a lot of different birds that I didn't know about too. So. This was a fun challenge, and this was the month of August. So while we were, we were at West, we had went uh, and walked to uh, Walmart that day, and because we didn't have a vehicle, so it was really hot out in BC. So my mom and I just um, enjoyed the walk, and this was a picture from our our travels. And this is my sister's cat, Tyler. I thought I would do kind of a unique, different look um, and do a silhouette of him and just a wash in the background which was more of an experiment, but I really liked the way that turned out. Tyler's so cute, by the way. And then once we were back home in September, my sister and I went with the kids, with her kids, uh, to the apple orchard to do some apple picking. It's something we do every year. They definitely do it every year. So um, I picked some apples and made some apple crisp. I also found this pumpkin at the apple orchard. They grow their pumpkins also in the back. And they had all unique ones this year. They had white ones and orange ones, obviously, and these blue and green ones. Uh, they were so cool. So I drew this bluish green one that I saw that I really liked. And this ended up being my favorite spread. Um, so we have a field across the road from our house and it's all our family's field. And so my grandfather was talking about these giant mushrooms that he saw growing in the field. And so he took me to see them and I got some pictures and they were as huge as the palm of my hand. The mushroom would fit the cap on it was huge. And so we got some pictures and uh, I thought for sure I had to sketch them. They were so pretty. And there was a whole trail of them from the path leading down into like the woods part. And it looked like something out of a cartoon I used to watch when I was a kid, Fables of the Green Forest. It, it just looked like I could jump into a little, I don't know, like a little fairy tale and there would be like little mice running around with clothes on and <laughs> little garbs and stuff. It was just really cool. So. Um, I definitely wanted to draw those. And then this is um, my sister. My other sister went to the pumpkin patch also and got some really cool pumpkins. She got this one that was warty and then she got a white one and an orange one. Uh, so this was on the front step and I took a picture of those and sketched that also. And then that same sister had a baby. She had her first baby this September. And so I became an aunt again. And so I drew, um, this was one of the decorations we had at his baby shower. And so I sketched that as a, as a, um, just a document that he was born that day. I took a break in here. Um, so this was in September 29th was when he was 
born and then I started up in December on the sketchbook. So in that time that I had that block, I started doing Inktober and I did different sketches on toned hand paper. So I didn't want to put them in my sketchbook. I did something totally different and I didn't end up finishing Inktober. I got really burned out and I think just between like doing the bird challenge every day, even though it was simple, um, just that commitment. I love challenges, but then I just get exhausted too. So sometimes you just need a break to replenish and refuel your creative side. So I did take a break, but I jumped into another challenge. Um, and this was a bird challenge too. So this is birds in December. And I love this challenge. I found it last year and I came in in the middle. So I wanted to do the whole thing this year. So from here on out, it's just my bird challenge images. And again, like I hadn't painted for a couple months and it's weird that the longer you don't paint, or like you let one more day go by, it's that much more intimidating to get back into it. And so when I started sketching these birds, I hated them and I was really hard on myself and um, and I struggled with just doing it in general and I felt like my paint wasn't right and my color application and all that stuff. But as I went on, it got easier for sure. And then when I look back at them, I'm, I think to myself that they're not that bad, but I was really a lot harder on myself than I probably needed to be. Um, this bird is one of my favorites because he's got kind of this over-the-shoulder look and he reminds me of like a Jordash jeans commercial or something. Um, so I thought he was really cute, actually. He's one of my favorites. And the house sparrow here, I really like the colors, the way the colors came out, but they still read as him being a primarily brown bird. So I thought that would turn out really nice. Um, with the backgrounds, so I used my um, White Knights watercolor. I had got this at the art store in BC, in Kelowna, um, when I was out visiting my sister and I haven't used it a lot and so I thought maybe a way to get familiar with the colors and the paints is just to incorporate them into the backgrounds as bokeh backgrounds or kind of um, out of focus backgrounds I guess um, and that would help me get acclimatized with them so everything in the background is a mixture of the White Knights paints that I got and I had this chart that I made of those colors so I did across the top and down the side of the same colors and then I just did um, a grid to mix all the colors with each other. And then on the top row, it'd be primarily this pigment versus whatever it was matching up to and vice versa on the bottom section. And so I used this as a guide also when I was trying to figure out what colors to make the backgrounds. I kind of look at this and, and just pick something randomly that I liked and, and see what the pigments were and then try mixing from there. So that's how I did the backgrounds. And... Uh, they were really fun to explore a lot. Like I, I learned a lot by doing it that way and I felt more confident even having that reference to start with instead of just looking at the same 12 paints and going, oh my goodness, what do I, what do I mix today? And so it's nice to have that reference because there's so many different colors and so um, I don't feel so blocked into just 12. I don't see it just so linear. So this was a big help uh, with choosing those backgrounds. I think we're coming up, oh yeah, we are. So these are more of the birds, um, and each day there's a bird that's uh, chosen and then you just paint that bird. Uh, there was an image chosen or you could pick your own. Most of the time I just took the chosen image because I didn't have to think about it. And so then I started getting creative. Um, here I did the pink background. I had seen someone else do their, I think it was a goldfinch or a gold bird with the pink background and it looks so pretty and it was just unique. You always think with skies they have to be blue or a variant of blue or yellow and I just love how, I guess there's pink sunsets too but I don't normally paint backgrounds that color so this bird is a favorite also. And so those are my birds that finished out my book. I had a few days. So this one ended on December 27th, which unfortunately I was so close to squeezing all the birds in this book, but I didn't. So what I did is I'll show you. So I have this art book here that um, the lettering fell off, but it was from October um, 2020 and I hadn't finished all my pages. So I just jumped in here and painted the rest of my birds. Uh, that was from my old Inktober, so these were the new birds, just to finish out the month. I actually like the colors in that a lot, that turned out really nice. Yeah, so I still have a bit of this Pentallic book left, and this size is really nice too, and it's funny, when you look at the Instagram shots, uh, it's hard to tell that this is so much smaller. I guess not too much, but 
it's a little bit different than looking at it in this book. It feels like the birds have a bit more room to be larger in this book than they do in this one. Um, I got some tails cut off here when I started, but then I was able to squeeze them in better as I went along. So these are my, um, well, this is my book tour. I hope you enjoyed that. And then I look at the finishing of my birds for Birds in December. My next sketchbook I have is the Etcher sketchbook. I've never used these. And so my mom bought me these for Christmas and there's three in a pack. And so I have opened this one. Um, so it's the end of January and this has been sitting in my art room for a month and I'm so intimidated to use this and I'm so excited because I've wanted these forever and I've heard great things about them. So I will do a separate video uh, in the near future reviewing these once I get a chance to break them in. But um, yeah, I'm excited to use these. So that'll be my next sketchbook. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this look at my sketchbook tour and kind of my thoughts on what I drew. Uh, if you did, be sure to give this video a like or a thumbs up and subscribe so you're notified the next time I post a video to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.